Now, let's have a look at an image of a jewel bone. You are able to notice that this is also a jewel bone. This is also considered a jewel bone. And this is also a jewel bone. Now, what are the consistent features between the two of these? Right? You might not be able to tell. Okay? But just look. You are able to notice that there is a clear margin of damage to the skin. Here and here. Even here. And even here. Right? There is a clear margin of damage to the skin. You are able to notice that there is an area of elevation over here. Right? At the margins, there is an elevation. Yes, I can see there is elevation here, elevation here, elevation here. So, what is happening is, basically, the skin is getting pushed up. Because the current is trying to flow through, but the skin is resisting. So, two objects are hitting each other. The skin will lose at the end, but the current is pushing. Right? And when the current pushes, it causes the skin to heap onto itself or roll back onto itself. Now, there is a clearer image coming up. Don't worry. Now here, look at this jewel bone over here, right? It's right next to this gentleman's chest, right? There's one over here in the web space also. This is the same case, same individual, same case. There's one jewel bone on his hand, there's one on his chest as well. This gentleman was an electrical worker for the government and he was working near a transformer when he grabbed onto an unearthed wire and this is what happened. So there is an effect both on the hand and on the chest. Now. I want you to look at this, right? Take a moment, just look at this. Notice how there's a pale center. There is a raised margin, right? And a surrounding area of hyperemia, right? You're able to see it here. A little bit of redness is there surrounding the area. Same thing, let's blow it up. So it's a little bit easier for you to note. I've given a diagrammatic representation. In the inside, you have a pale center. Okay, surrounded by which you're going to have raised margins. Right, I'm hoping you're able to see this. Then you're going to have discoloration or darkening. Now, why is this happening? Because the keratin is getting boiled, right? It's getting heated up. So that is why you're going to have this sort of discoloration. Then you have an area outside. Now, we know it, right? It's an injury which has happened on the body. So what is the body going to do? It's going to respond with a red line or hyperemic zone. Okay? This is a hyperemic zone. So now you know exactly what a jewel burn looks like, right? If you're going from inside out, you have a pale center surrounded by raised margins, surrounded by darkening, surrounded by a hyperemic zone. Okay? Hopefully this was clear, we'll move on.